Hey my warriors, how you doing? Today I am going to be cooking something special and everything. I know it's not Christmas anymore, it was past Christmas. Um, I decided I'm going to, I have all the ingredients and everything, but I want to try something um, different. So this is what I'm going to be making and so with my new laptop, as you can tell, this is my new, new laptop. As you can tell, um, I'm going to zoom in. This is what I'm going to be making. It's called the Grinch Chris, um, Cookies. You can tell. Grinch Cookies right here. And if you want me to send you the recipe, I will give it to you. Um, let me know or I will screenshot it. And it will be in the end of this video so if you guys want to try it out for yourself you're more than welcome to and stuff like that so I will be posting it on the end of this channel or this video come to think of it and um, just screenshot it so you can pause it you can screenshot it with yourself and you can make it yourself and uh, I got this from one of my friends from Facebook and everything and she gave me the recipe and everything so I have to give a shout out to um, my friend Becky Rebecca you know who you are so um, this is she was the one who kindly gave me this recipe for me to try it out so thank you girl huge shout out to you so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started so give me one second and I'll be right back okay I went to um, go ahead and turn on the oven for to 350 degrees so that way we can go ahead and start getting the oven hot so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing this so um, just bear with me I'm going to move some stuff around as we speak because I need some room so I got the butter and it's already been softened so I just need it so now the butter the butter calls for one cup so the butter says one stick is half a cup so I need these two so that's why it's already been softened and stuff like that it's ready to be put in here and stuff like that so um so give me one second I'm trying to put the camera the way it needs to be so and I'm going to look through my recipe on my computer so this right here you see is my sugar so let me see how much sugar I have to put. Sheesh. It says combine butter and sugar in a large bowl and use an electric mixer to beat until well combined and light and fluffy. So let's see the sugar. One and two third cups of sugar. So one and two third cups. So, I'll be using this measuring cup because it will, it says up to two cups or whatever. Up to two and a half cups, I'm sorry, two and a half cups. So, I'll be using this particular mix, um, my, um, measuring cup. So, it says one cup and two thirds. Is that right? one and two third cups so let me go ahead and get the sugar in here so I can put this in the bowl so and I haven't cooked in a while the last time you probably saw me cooking was my Thanksgiving dinner I went to my sister-in-law's parents' house for Christmas, which was fun, so I didn't stay home for that. 
So it was a lot of fun. I had a great time for Christmas. So let me get this whoa. Let me get this filled to the mount. Like I said, I have not done a cooking video in a long time. The last one was November for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to fill it up what I can. And then if I, if I overdid it and everything, I can always take some out. So, so, nope, need more. All right. So still good. I need more like I said I'm going to fill it up what I can and if I did too much I can pour some out because that's how I roll with it okay see that's a little much too much so yeah I always make sure okay that's a little few <laughs> so yeah I just have to play around with it and everything in order to you to it says one cup and two-thirds cup so so I just kind of like play around to see and I'm going to make this all right that's perfect so I'm gonna dump that all on here so that's all the sugar that I'm going to be doing and hang on one second Combined butter and sugar in large bowls. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump these two, these two butter butters into here. So yes, I had them out for since this morning, so that I can get. Soften. So. So yeah, that's the with the oven. So don't. So, as you can tell, you see the sugar and you see the um the two butters. Now the butters are half a cup each. So I use it, you know, for both of them for, for, uh, like a cup. This thing is heavy. <laughs> Haven't used my, um, electric, um, mixer in so long, so. So I am going to turn this on so I can be mixed while it's doing that. Let me get a spatula. I use this just in case. So let me go ahead and turn it on. Okay, sorry I had to pause it and everything. So I'm gonna add two large eggs and I have to beat it one at a time to get it fluffy. So hang on one second. Two large eggs. 
Oops. So it says two large eggs. So add eggs one at a time. Beat well after each addition. So see, I got two large eggs. So I got to do it one at a time. So I'm going to put this up. As you can tell, you probably see the little clumps. So it won't be a clump anymore once I get everything. one at a time because that's what it says so let me get this heated and I'm gonna put this one in Don't you hate it when you break a shell? You see a little shell with it? Ugh. So I'm trying to see if I can get that out. My hands are clean, by the way. So, I washed my hands before I started filming, just so you know that I did wash my hands. So, let me go ahead. And I have never done this kind of recipe before, but when I saw it from hers, my friends, I asked her to see if I can get the recipe from her so I can try it myself, and she did, she gave it to me, so I do have to give her a shout out to her because she's the one who gave me the I'm trying to get all this up. Now, let's see what's next. Okay, so stir in vanilla extract and food coloring until well combined. So, two teaspoons vanilla extract. So, I might have teaspoons. I might have to move. Two teaspoons. 
have it somewhere. Give me one second, y'all. I know I have. One tablespoon. teaspoon I do have one half teaspoon so I'm gonna just use this one and double it and everything or whatever how many things so that's probably what I'm gonna do is use this so two teaspoons vanilla extract and yes I keep repeating myself so I can get what I need to do so I need my vanilla extract and luckily I do have my vanilla extract um, hopefully this will be enough so two teaspoons so I need to hopefully this will be enough please let it be enough that was a half a teaspoon that I was using I had to do four times so yeah because I don't know what happened to my one teaspoon I don't know where it is so but it's all it all equals to you know coloring. I need to drop three to five drops. So So that's, I made it for, sorry, I made it for six droppings, even though it says three to five. But I just want to make sure. I'm going to stop it for a minute so I can get the sides.
talking much and stuff like that. I'm trying to get all the green and greenness into the mixture, so. show you guys what it looks like. Just give me one second. I'm just trying to mix whatever needs to be around. Wow. Not bad. Alright. I know it's still work in, work in progress, but this is what it looks like. As you can tell. That's what it looks like. It's green. Don't have any flour. It calls for flour, but that's what it looks like, y'all. And I can't wait till it gets done. So. So, yeah. That's what it's going to look like right now. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a minute because I don't want it to, to, to cut off and everything, so I'll start fresh again. So, I got the food coloring. Let's see what else do I need. In a separate bowl, whisk together flour, cornstarch, cornstarch, bacon powder, bacon soda, and salt. Well, I don't need salt because, um, this calls for unsalted butter. Uh, I don't need salt because I only have, I only bought the salted butter. So I'm not going to use salt for this recipe, but if you get unsalted butter, you can use salt for this recipe because it does call for it. I am going to skip the salt. So, because it gets, the butter is already salted enough. So, um, but it, like I said, the salt is in the recipe if you do get the unsalted butter. So I'm going to be um, finding me another bowl for me to get the the flour and all that stuff together with that. So bear with me, guys. All right, I'm just getting um, my next step ready. I'm going to be doing my um, flour. Flour calls for, and I do have another mixing bowl, which I'm going to be using to put all the other stuff before I put it in there. I'm going to be um, putting, uh, what do you call it? Three cups plus a half, a half, one third cup, so of flour. So. Now, let's see, I got one cup here, plus I got one third, even though the number has faded, I've, we've had this a long time, it's my mom's and stuff like that, so, um, so yeah, as you can imagine. So, what I'm going to be doing, get me like a little bowl, kind of something, because... I can fill it up and everything and use that. So, so let me do that. So, I'm starting with one third cup before I do the three cups. So, So 
So the third, this is one third. I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do the cup as we speak. to talk about while I'm measuring all this. <laughs> Complete silence. I have been trying to get my Patreon page. I'm still working on it and I probably We'll probably need to ask someone for some help with it so if you know how to do a patreon page please 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 uh, hit me up on Twitter I don't really know what I'm doing come to think of it but any suggestions would be very helpful you can help me anyways okay that's one let me put some more in there so if you are want to help me you know how to set up a patreon page i can um let you you know dm me on tw um twitter um, and my Twitter handle will be in the description down below. So if you know how to do that sort of thing, please, please, please hit me up. Let me know how to set up a Patreon page. Because like I said, I signed up months ago and I would like to get that started. So... Please let me know, hit me up, and um, that way I can get that going. So, because, like I said, I am new to that. One more because it calls for three cups and one third cup and I've already done the one third cup so so if you guys want to help me with that I had one girl even though she didn't want me to shout her out but help me with another logo kind of type thing for my channel um and for my for my merch too so even like i said i, I won't say her name but she did help me on creating something so if you watch this you know who i'm talking about so but um just leave it at that she doesn't want me to shout her out which is fine I, I won't do that but I have been wanting to get a new design for my um, merch store I'm tired of I'm tired of a uh, move I'm tired of um, having the same thing that I have now in there so but I want something a little bit more that's still gonna be still in there just to let you know but I want something 
new. And so, but like I said, she's been helping me with that on Twitter. And she says she loves doing that. And I might just go, you know, to her for help. So, she don't mind. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I got all the ingredients for the flour. The flour's there. So, what's next? So, let's see. Got the flour. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. In a separate bowl with together flour, cornstarch, bacon powder, bacon soda. So I'm going to do cornstarch in a minute. So bacon powder, bacon soda is one teaspoon. I only have one half a teaspoon. So... I'm going to do the baking soda first. Baking soda is one teaspoon. So, I don't have the one teaspoon for some reason. I don't know where it is. I do have a half. So, I'm going to do two of the baking soda and the baking powder. So, because it calls for one teaspoon. This is a half. So, I'm going to do two into one. So... I just don't know where the other one is. I mean, the 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 thing is kind of frustrating because I need it for cooking and stuff like that. So so I'm gonna do. One. It's two, so that's one. All right, so I don't need this one. I gotta close, I gotta tape that, so I will do that in a minute. And I got the baking powder. See, as you can tell, the baking powder is One teaspoon also. So I gotta do two of the halves to make one. So I gotta open this since this is new. My brother and sister in law gave me this. And they went shopping when I had my ankles all hurting. So. One. I'm probably making a mess, but it's what you do when you when you start baking. It's make messes. All right. I don't think I need any more of that, but. So cornstarch, two teaspoons of cornstarch. So corn, yeah, cornstarch, two teaspoons. I do need it.
So I need four. If it calls for two teaspoons, I need to put four of the halves. Like I said, I have no idea where Don't know where my um one teaspoon is because I don't know. It might be buried somewhere. I who knows. I'm gonna hate when it does that. Come on. Now that I've got that set, mix uh, in a separate bowl, flour, cornstarch, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. I don't need salt. Set mixture to low speed. Gradually stir dry ingredients to mixture. Okay, so let me. Mix this around because that's what it says. myself just to let you know so she can tell I got all the flowers and stuff like that in here she can tell that's all the flowers are baking soda baking powder cornstarch I would have salt in there if I didn't have salted butter so this let's see So, I'm bringing my laptop in here so you can sell my laptop. So, let's see. So, in a separate bowl, and I already did that. So, set mixer to low speed and gradually stir dry ingredients into butter mixer. Add ingredients and stir until well incorporated. Okay. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So Sorry for the noise because I need to get this off. This is what I normally do. So do it gradually
Like I said, I'm sorry I'm not talking. I just want to get this stuff done. I'm gonna pause the video so I can get this um get going. Okay, that was weird. I'm still putting saran wrap on here because it says I need to put that on here. So I'm gonna put two saran wrap and everything on each side. So that way the air doesn't get in there. So, now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator because it says put it chilled for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put everything back. And, so yeah. So, I got this in the, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator right now. So, but in the meantime, for 30 minutes, I'm going to put it, and I, um, I, when I get, I'll go ahead and turn off the oven because it was, I was just trying to make things and stuff like that. So, I will turn back on the oven once this thing is done, and I'm going to go ahead and put this back, the computer, back on charger, even though it's okay, but just want to get it out of the kitchen also, also. but, um, so let me go ahead and do that. And I will see you in 30 minutes, okay? Alrighty. I know this is another day and everything, but um, I did chill it and everything, but I decided to leave it out because, yeah, why why chill this thing? Probably going to skip that step anyways. But let me, sh okay. I got the, um, got the dough and stuff like that. So... Uh, it says that I'm gonna put um, put parchment paper on here. I am not gonna do that, so I'm gonna leave that alone. So, but I am going to spray it. it and everything so but I'm gonna wash my hands before I start so you can tell on the, on the cam you can tell I'm, wash, I'm gonna wash my hands and once I get done with washing my hands the oven is on I, it's 350 I put it I put the oven on so once that's it's preheated. I'm gonna get the um, cookies ready, and I'm gonna bake it today and everything before I leave to go film for my paranormal channel. So be on the lookout for my paranormal channel. We are gonna go film. Can't wait to do that. And like I said. We are on Saturday now, so, and I'm going to get these cookies made, so I'm going to take some cookies with me <coughs> to um, eat in the car along the way, <coughs> so, to meet up with Dana and CJ. So, <coughs> got my hands washed, get ready, I'm going to wash them again after later, but Like I said, the oven is pre is on, it's preheating right now. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and place these like I said just a little bit so that way I can have a little bit more like I said I always wa I wash my hands so as y'all see on cam so I'm going to be doing this size and it has little stuff so I'm not talking that much. I might just, I don't know. I mean, playing on with how many, what size I'm going to be doing. But, but you get the, um, the gist and everything. I'm going to um, get these on the thing. I'm not going to let you sit here with me doing that so even though my hands are really things so I'm going to turn this off until I get this um, sorted so I okay I have made my first batch and stuff like that as you can tell this is my first batch and everything so I'm going to put this now I'm going to put this in the oven and for a, it's either, it's like from 11 to 13 minutes so I'm gonna put this in the oven now and get another pan get ready ready and everything so let me put this in the oven now so I can get this cold cooking I'm gonna do 11 right now to see that helps. I'm getting another pan just to let you know. So, another pan. I am going to get that sorted. So, okay. See in the um for the other one. Okay, I got, I'm sorry for the angle camera, but <clears throat> for the shake on this. Um, I got my other one ready, as you can tell. This is ready to go. And we have about, I would say, four more minutes. See, four more minutes for this other one. So we will um, check it when um, that beeps. So 
um, we'll wait until then so until we can get this other one ready so once I get everything ready and everything you'll see that after everything is done as you can tell there's some more stuff in there I have to uh, do once that gets done I'll turn everything back on the camera and everything and we'll try it and everything so be back in this in a sec alright now I tried 11 minutes and stuff like that and I looked at it it didn't look like it was done so but I put it back in there for like 13 or something like that and this is what it looks like this is it's been cooked baked or whatever I put the other one so as you can tell it's gone it's in the oven and I put it for 13 so we'll we'll see if 13 is enough but this is the beginning now I'm gonna let it cool as you can tell there's M&Ms and all that stuff in there so I'm gonna let this cool off and um, like I said I still have more stuff to do which I might do on another time at least I, I'm getting I'm gonna bring some stuff these cookies with me um, when I'm going to go meet up with um, Dane and CJ for tonight and sorry my eyes are itching um, so that's done now I've just put the other ones on so and I'm gonna use the other ones for later I'm gonna probably put them in I don't know, I'll probably just cover the bowl and everything like I did before so that way I can save it so I can cook up um, like tomorrow to finish the rest and everything. But I'm gonna, whatever I make and everything, I'm gonna bring it with me and stuff like that. So right now it's gonna be cold. So for this one, I just put the other one in and I'm out of breath. <laughs> so um, we'll see, alright? Okay, the other one's out and everything. I just stopped the, um, the oven. The oven's off, it's, you know. Let me show you. The oven is like off. I'm not doing it anymore. It's in the off position because I'm going to be leaving to go um, meet Dana and CJ later today. That's my first one batch. This is my second one. It just came out of the oven. So I'm going to wait till it gets cool. Um, like I said, I'm going to bring some stuff with me. You know, bring in a container and put it in my car with me. So I will be having cookies to see how it tastes and this is my first time trying these kind of cookies and stuff like that it's called the Grinch's cookies and I will like I said I will leave the recipe at the end of this video so if you want the recipe for yourself you're more than welcome to and everything so um so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing so so I'll see you then alrighty guys I want to try the first one, the first bite. So let me know. I mean, I'm gonna tell you how it tastes like. Like I said, this is my first time trying this. It's really good. I really love it. And of course, you see the M&Ms. This is really good. Like I said, all these cookies that I made, I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna save the rest for later for me to cook, like tomorrow sometime. Cause, sorry. <laughs> I know I won't be able to finish all all this today because I gotta get ready. You know, just get ready and stuff like that. So I'm gonna finish this cookie and everything. So I hope you like this um cooking video. And like I said, I will be putting the recipe at the very end. So if anybody wants to try it you're more than welcome to and I got it from my friend on Facebook so hope you enjoy it I have new merch in my um, Teespring store all the stuff will be in the description down below please go check out my merch 
I'm I have new logos that I'm gonna be posting um also so for my um, merch and stuff like that so I'm gonna see if I can get um, new designs so I can get new merch and stuff like that but I did put new merch in my new store so please go check it out please buy some and everything I might have to may maybe lower the price a little bit I don't know but all the other ones are low price but until then thank you for um, joining me don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn on the bell notification every time I upload a video and stuff like that so alrighty thank you so much and I love you guys and um, we'll see you on the next one take care